Do a back to back. Drew, you're in trouble. Let's go. Making both would be detrimental at the end. Dead center. Welcome back to the channel. We have Simon Lazat here. We're playing horse. So typical H-O-R-S-E, but between the letters, we're gonna ask Simon some questions, get his insight on some things, maybe and let him pick a question you wanna talk about. But I do have some written out. Simon said it's my job since it's my channel, so I gotta- Horse Q&A. Like horse Q&A, there we go. I'm gonna try to make this like a constant thing. Try to do one with Yuli, try to do one with Ricky, try to do one with Paul. Um, so let's jump right into horse and let's get it going. Do you have anything to say to the people? You're getting destroyed. Whoa. You. Me, not them. No. Okay, I'll say that's a little aggressive. All right, so we're actually playing with two discs. So if I make one, Drew's, Drew makes one, it's a tie obviously, zero, zero, tie, two, two, tie. If I make one, Drew makes two, I get one letter. If I make zero, Drew makes two, I get two letters, vice versa. That's horse for you. We're starting off with a clean 30 footer with a tree right in the way. You can go left or right, it's your choice. Sit. Oh. You got a chance. We got a superstar on our hands here. Chains, chains, so I'm gonna try to at least make one. I think from 30 feet that's fair. Yeah, make it look easy. Don't make it look so easy. All right, age for Lazat. I'll take it, I'll take it. I have to take it. What motivated you or pushed you to become a professional disc golfer was? Oh, well, it's, you know, it's been my thing the whole, my whole life. If when I was five years old to 12 years old, you could have asked me what I want to be when I grow up and it would have been pro disc golfer. So I think we've been in the same boat. It's always been part of our lives. And uh, I grew up in Germany, so pro disc golfer wasn't even a career that was thinkable or possible. But, you know, that's why we have the American idols who did it for us. And at some point I was good enough. And in 2014, I did the leap of faith over the pond and it just worked out. And now you're an idol. Working on Believe it. Believe it or not. <laughs> Working on remember it. Remember when 2015, maybe we won that doubles tournament in Texas? You remember that? Yeah, we killed it. Yeah, we shot like 17 under. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember the song we listened to before our round too. Remember that? Can you sing it for us? Um, it was Sarah Connor, which is a German like pop ballad artist. And it was... Uh, very romantic, that's all oh. I can say. Well, we did great. <laughs> yeah. All right, so this is deep in circle 50 footer, two. 50 footer, maybe? Yeah, 50. 50 footer, probably. 50 footer. See low ceiling. We got those branches right there over the basket. Hard to see on camera how they actually affect the putt. That was nasty. You, Unbelievable. I don't know if I should go hyzer or straight Oh, no. Oh, thank God. One for two okay. is not bad, though. That's, that's pro tour quality. That's shockingly good. I don't know if I should go hyzer or just like a straight bullet at it. Whatever you think is gonna make at least one. Yeah. Okay, I like that, just left. Sit, no! H-O, oh! All right, so you're known for good performances. What's something you always do after a good performance? Is it go have a beer? throw darts, like what's something you enjoy after feeling like you did a good job? Yeah, the great thing about having a beer is if you've played really well, it feels like a great reward. And if you played really bad, it feels like something that uh, makes your day a bit better. What's your favorite beer? I don't want to sound like an alcoholic <laughs> here, but no, I do really enjoy beer after the round. I like IPAs. I like to try local beers when I can. I like to try every time I have a beer, I want to have a different beer. I'm not really the guy who has the same beer over and over again. I want to widen my idea about beer. Okay, well, so have a nice beer after a good accomplishment. Or a terrible day. <laughs> <laughs> same thing. Yeah, so we have another bit of a straddle can, put here. Yeah, straddle, jump, whatever you want, but a little headwind, see if we can't. Slight headwind, 45 footer. We're out here in Yuli's backyard, by the way. Left side chains, can he correct? Yes. Well, if you keep doing this, then uh, I'm gonna struggle. I'm kind of nerdy right now. Uh, 
Drop. Hi, I, I had the chance. All right, I don't know. Circle two. Yeah, 60 footer, 55. A, a little uphill. Yeah. A little crosswind. H-O for Lazat. Nothing for Gibson. Drew has been Nothing putting. but chains for Gibson. Oh. oh. <laughs> Drew's been lights out on the putting green all weekend long. That's no good. But here he opens the door wide open. I like it. There's never been a op more open door. Ah. Little more left, too low. Consistency is key. You might not see this fence on camera very well, but we can't go straight at it. So it's obstructed 45 footer. Got to go up and over. Oh, sailed it. I needed that one. I know I needed that one. We need a miracle. This putt is not quite a miracle. He's so good. Oh, you jinxed it. I gooded you. Oh, that's a point. Eight for Drew. Gosh. The beautiful avocado mini we're using. It's gotta be a dog toy, cat toy, someone's toy, or just our mini for horse. Love How did that one not go in? Bad putter, bad putter. Whoa, easy now. Oh my gosh. Oh, give me a chance. Why, dude? No. No two make yet. Come on, man. This putt like lines up for Drew too. A little up and over gap shot with the Heiser finish. Yeah, that is a. I hate those where you just hit high. What? Tie game, I'm saying. Hey, look at that. Tournament roll away too. Tie game. A little obstructed shorty here. Can you see? Good enough. Kind of sorta. No. Dude, why is making two in a row so hard? It's hard for us. <laughs> this is called the branches in focus putt. This putt is weird because when you're following through with your hand, you actually hit those branches. No problem for Drew. I'm gonna tilt the camera a bit. Artsy. Oh my. Well, tie game still. Tie All right. game. We'll live. This one's real tough because you gotta go slight Annie at it. And that's not our natural preferred putt. Mm. Oh my gosh. Do it back to back. Drew, you're in trouble. Let's go. I've never even putted this shape before. So you guys are watching my first try. 15 years of playing disc golf, never putted this shape. I doubt it. Good line. Talented. Oh, oh no. That's the fence. H-O-R-S to me. That do get, was... Do I get to ask you a question now? Sure. What would you rank putting of your skills? Is it a weakness? Is it a strength? Or where would you put it? I think it's like right in the middle because I, obviously my putting is way better than like my sidearm. So I couldn't put it as like the total weakness because then I'd have way too many weaknesses. But I think when I'm putting really well, just like most players on tour, I'm like one of the best putters on tour. Uh, I know there's been events or weeks or months where I make everything and pretty good putter. I'd say that, you know, right in the middle, I'm obviously, I would say backhand, very good. Putting in the middle could be good, could be really bad. And then sidearm looks like this avocado just beat up. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, I think I used to always think putting was one of your big weaknesses, but you changed like in the last three or four years, you've found something. Penrose from EV7. You think it was actually the putter that helped you a lot? I think that the putter is, helped me a lot and i think that also switching to like a putter only company for a sponsorship made me focus on like practice putting more and like wanting to get better not that i didn't want to get better before but i just feel like now having a putter only brand supporting me um i just put more work in and more time and to really hone that putt in and i think that when my arm was healthy i was putting a couple hours a day you know you do anything a couple hours a day you're gonna gonna get better at it so yeah i mean i think a tribute to the putter but also a tribute to just wanting to get better and wanting to succeed with that new putter as well and not want to show up and continue to putt bad with the putter sponsor well stop missing then i'm gonna try <laughs>
All right, we chose the raised basket. We have an obstruction, the branch. So you gotta get creative and talented. If I make both, you're in trouble. You need one more letter. Yeah. Oh, what? No. No. I opened the door. I have a chance. The one thing I can do is open the door right now. Because we're having an epic battle, of course. Your first putt was in, if there was no branch. I think it was in, yeah. yeah. The branch kind of, I mean, that's why I put the branch there. Or uh, that tree did. Oh no. Air ball, air ball should be instant loss. Okay. You would have lost on the first a, that's station. A joke. That's a joke. I have to sneeze. <laughs> oh, sorry. I hope that wasn't too loud. Nice play. <laughs> Avocado. On a scale of one to ten, how much do you just love the pure flight of the disc? Oh, ten out of ten. Me too. It's the good thing about disc golf is that there's no perfect. I mean, there is sometimes. It feels like it. I've but... seen you throw it perfect. Yeah, but. It's like you're always chasing that perfect shot and it never gets old. That just gave me goosebumps. That's just what it is. It's like the flight. I mean, disc golf is just so cool because we're not using balls. Every sport uses balls. We have something that can do so much more. And I love it. And you're the lever. Like instead of golf, you know, you're hitting with a golf club. Like you're yeah, the one making the any, disc. We, yeah, we don't have any tools or rackets or clubs. It's just. It's just you and the disc. That was as philosophical. Philosophical? Cut that. Both of these is a dagger. Yeah, I mean, that's something Ganon Burr would do. Ganon Burr steps up to these 64. But honestly, just... just one of these would be great. Yeah. I'd be happy with one metal hit, to be honest. This is every bit of 60. Good bid. No. Good bid. Is that a pit peeve? Oh no. I'm good. I'm good. Oh no. I'm good. I just wanted to do it the cool way. I'm so glad that backfired. Can we redo it? <laughs> this is a freaking bomb. Yeah, this is a long putt. This is probably the longest putt yet. 70 feet. We're going to the high basket. And I mean, you might as well earn it. If you're gonna win, you gotta earn it. It looked good for like one second. It looked good right until I seconds. putted it. <laughs> I love that line. It was good before you let go. No. Okay. All right, one putt for the win. This is it. One putt for the win. Everyone knows the rules. Yep. That feels so bad to fluff it left side. Oh, that's even worse. I don't know which one went worse, but they both weren't good. All was... right, 60 footer yeah, around the first the basket. Second basket that so, is down there. We're gonna I'm try to film this well. Try for a bomb here. Try to film this well. <laughs> Trying to make things work here. That was beautiful. Thank you. And really annoying. Reminds me of you. Wow, compliment golf. <laughs> don't do it. Thank God, I can't lose. Oh my God. Might as well shank it right. Got it. No letter for Lazat. Drew has been surviving on one letter for too many rounds now. I've been existing. So either I gotta close the door or go home. Making both would be detrimental. That's in. Dead center, good putt. Thank you. This is, this is the Very one that matters. good putt. Now this would hurt. Lazat. Nope. Why do I do have the shanks on the second putt? Thankfully the first one counts in a tournament. Maybe stop sucking. Both for the win. How do you feel about this one? I think you're going to make it. I think so too. You gotta stop sucking. I'm hungry. Can we go eat? <laughs> All right, we need an ending to this. It's been going on forever. We're going off the knee. We gotta go under the fence and up to the elevated basket. 
That is just so good. Please don't do two. No. Let's go, dude. Okay, so I need to make one to survive. <laughs> I need to make one to survive. If I don't make the first one, it's going to be really... Yeah. Oh, I don't like that. But I'm good under pressure, usually. Okay, this is it. This is it. Don't choke! And a falling putt? <laughs> I just lost. I got two letters. I had H-O-R, and now I have S-E. Oh, man. That was it, Simon. Congratulations, you did it. Thank you. I finally beat Simon in something in my whole life. Yeah. Took a backyard putting game from a knee. <laughs> Those were good putts. Your putting is actually like annoyingly good nowadays. It's, yeah. I think the same about you. My but, putting is not annoyingly good. <laughs> but thanks to Simon, and thanks for doing vlogmas with me. This yeah. has been fun. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Comment down below who else you'd like to see doing these. Did you have fun doing fun format? Oh, great times. Do you like um, the questions or should we not do that anymore? No, I'm a big fan of walk and talk. My, My goggles are fogging up here. So thank you guys for joining. We'll see you in the next one.